ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ನರಸಿಂಹಾಯ ನಮಃ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಅರಣ್ಯಕಾಂಡ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ರಾಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ರೀಚ್ ದ ಕಾಟೇಜ್ ಸಮರಿ ರಾಮ ಇಸ್ ಆಂಗ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೀತಾಸ್ ಅಲೋನ್ನೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಸ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ರಾಮ ಆಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ವೈ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಸೀತಾ ಅನ್ಗಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೋನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಾಮ ರಷಸ್ ರ್ಯಾಪಿಡ್ಲಿ ಟು ಹೆರ್ಮಿಟೇಜ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ರ್ಯಾಪಿಡ್ಲಿ ಟು ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸೀತಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಅರೈವಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಫೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಕ್ವಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಹೆರ್ಮಿಟೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಥ್ರೋನ್ ಇನ್ ಥೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪೇರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಇನ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ ಆನ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಯರಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ವೈ ದಿ ದೆನ್ ದ ವರ್ಚ್ಯೂ ಸೋಲ್ಡ್ ರಾಮ ದ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಶರಥ ಹಸ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಇಂಪೇಶಿಯಂಟ್ಲಿ ಶಿ ಹೂ ಹಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟೌ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಟು ದಂಡಕ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪೆರಿಗ್ನೇಷನ್ whom you have now deserted and came here o lakshmana she that vedi very she when i have come before forlorn with the fort forfisher of my kingdom and when i was rushing for dandaka forest she stood with me as a partaker in my vows she that comely vedi which very she with without whom i am disinclined to live even for a moment o valiant one such a sita who is simile is like the daughter of deities and who is my life force very she i am not ambitious for rulership either on heavens or on earth o lakshmana without the daughter of janaka whose aspect glistens like gold vedi who is dearer to me than my lives will she be alive somehow o valiant lakshmana this peregrination of mine will it not become futile some way when i am dead for the sake of sita and when you get back to ayodhya lonesome and when kk's wishes are accomplished thus o oh, saumitri will she be comfortable somewhat kk is with her son with a kingdom and further her purpose are achieved o oh, gentle lakshmana and because of the death of her son will my austerity austerly mother kaushalya humbly get into servitude of kk anyhow i wish to get at the hermitage again if only that vedi of good conduct is alive in hermitage else o lakshmana if death has already conducted her out of hermitage i too will give up my life here itself if sita the princess from videha does not chat with me as before smilingly gleefully on my arrival at the hermitage o lakshmana i really breath my last say lakshmana whether this pitistic vedi is alive or not or on you becoming unmindful of your god is she consumed by demons either she who is soft by her nature and anguish by her age has never noticed that the despair of separation from me and now by my dissociation she will despairingly broken heartedly so it seems that imposter and highly impudent demon maricha who shouted loudly as o lakshmana might have caused fear even in you in every way i hope that vedi has also heard that voice which is similar to that of mine and i hope frightened as she as she is she might have also hastened you and i hope you also have come to see me that hastily in every way you have caused hardship by leaving sita in isolation and leave is given to the diabolic demons for counter attack against us raw flesh eating demons are distraught as i have liquidated khara as a result those ghastly ones who would have liquidated sita by now there is no doubt about it in every way i am sunken into scorch but oh elmi eliminator lakshmana what can i possibly do in present situation perchance this sort of scorch is liable to chance upon me alas thus rama gave went to his feelings on his way to hermitage in this way while thinking emotively about the carvacious sita ragava hurriedly returned to janasthana along with lakshmana he that rama who chastened his anger brother enroot is worried in aspect and wizened in his mouth by hunger by strain and also by thirst and suspiring heavily he arrived near at hermitage and became dispirited when he beheld the hermitage in vacuity that valiant rama on quickly entering his own hermitage found it to be vacuous then he rushed out and went around a place of past time of sita saying yes this is that place where she used to move around for plucking flowers and again he dashed into the hermitage only to find it as empty cottage then he rushed out to some other place of play time of sita yelling yes this is that place where she used to play with deer squirrels and birds 
and again came back to vacant hermitage and again he dashed to some other prayer time place exclaiming yes this is the very place where she offered her daily prayers finally on returning to the vacant hermitage he became one who is plunged into hair raising thoughts of despair as that cottage is emptied of sita thus this is the 58th chapter in aranyakanda valmiki ramayana the first epic poem of india sri moolarama vijayate om sri krishnarpanamastu